man, this Hollywood stuff just ceased to amaze me. So in less than 24 hours after filing the lawsuit against Puff Daddy, Cassie decides to settle. Now, there was always rumblings that um, she was coming after him for years behind the scenes and he was trying to settle um, before. Uh, we know that she uh, finally left with the, she finally, she had finally left with the, um, the trainer. And that's who she married and had her two children by. She had her two children by the trainer that Puffy had hired. So there was a lot of accusations about him bringing in sex workers. Uh, him, it was abuse. There was a whole lot of stuff that she actually brought up. Um, they settled out for undisclosed amount. Um, she gave a statement. He gave a statement. But let's... It's, 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 it's a lot. Sean Diddy Combs and R&B singer Cassie on Friday settled a lawsuit she filed a day earlier that accused the legendary music producer and rapper of, of rapping and physically abusing her for over a, raping and physically abusing her for over a decade. Both sides resolved the claims their mutual, uh, to their mutual satisfaction. Cassie's lawyer announced without disclosing the terms of the settlement, I have decided to resolve this matter amicably on terms that I have uh, some level of control. I want to thank my family, fans, and lawyers for their unwavering support. Cassie, whose full name is Cassandra Ventura, wrote in a statement. Combs 54 added um, in his own statement, We have decided to resolve this matter amicably. I wish Cassie and her family the best. Ventura had, had alleged in the short-lived suit that Combs regularly fed her drugs, alcohol, forced her to have uh, sex with male prostitutes, and viciously raped her and beat her shortly after her two, uh, shortly after meeting her in 2005 until, until 2018. The Me and You singer claimed um, the public on and off relationship she once called a, complete, a, a completely inspiring experience was brutally sinister below the surface. See, the, uh, this is difficult for me because there are a lot of women that are actually being abused, like uh, killed, hurt, raped, um, physically assaulted, it, it happens every day across the world. Um, what I don't like about this is she came out and she made all these allegations without actually having proof of it. She got a check, and now I guarantee you in that non-disclosed check that she gets, she's not going to be allowed to talk about it. So now she's not going to be the champion or ha with the woman with the large platform for women that 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 are actually be, that are being abused, I'm not going to use the word actually because that would imply that she's not being abused, and I don't know it. I don't know if she was abused or not abused. We never got into to expose the fact because if Diddy is actually this monster, then he shouldn't be able to uh, actually uh, uh, keep going and doing the things that he do. He should be taken down. But he could just give you some money and we just go away. I have a problem with that. I have a problem with that. But again, uh, uh, every, uh, everything is about money. Everything is about money and clicks. So to me, th th they've been going back and forth with this. And, and, prop and I'm hearing that the $30 million that was told was not told by her side. It was told, that, that was brought out and told by Puffy's side. That's, what, that's, that's what's coming to light now. So um, they were saying that Puffy, Ben was trying to give her an eight-figure settlement. So there has to be where there's smoke, there's fire. So there has to be some type of guilt on his side to want to give money. Because if a woman accused me of grape and all these atro uh, uh, atrocious acts, and I know I didn't do it, I would want to fight it. I would want to just give you some money. But so there has to be there has to be something going on. And they they were dealing with each other from 2005 all the way up to 2018. So like I said, just because I don't like Diddy. With all the things he's done, don't mean I'm just going to rush and say he's guilty. Because I will tell a lot of women, what happened to you in your personal life has nothing to do with these two. We need facts. Because to accuse a man of rape, you have to have facts. Because where I come from, the, punish the punishment is a permanent pose in the ground. When you get accused of something like that. But for them to come and just settle out right away, I think the biggest losers here is women that jumped out to support this. Uh, that that don't have the platforms that want that want this cause to get out to get out even more. The biggest loser in this are those women. So I just think that um, 
After years, after years in silence and darkness, I am finally ready to tell my story and to speak up on behalf of myself and for the benefit of other women who face violence and abuse in their relationships, Ventura 37 said in a statement that was filed. But now, but see, this is the problem. She's not going to speak up for those women. She got her, she cashed in. Y'all going to go by the wayside now. She's going on with her life because it was never about speaking up for those women. It was about her and her issue. And this is why I always tell women, don't, don't live your life vicariously through these entertainers and all this Hollywood stuff. They're selling you an image. We don't, we don't know what's true and what's not true. What we do know is women get hurt every day. That's what we do know. The shocking lawsuit filed Thursday in Manhattan, in Manhattan Federal Courtroom inspired several other ent uh, entertainment A-listers to show support to Ventura who was only a teenager when 37-year-old Cone signed her to his label and allegedly began relentlessly pursuing her. Among the chilling allegations, um, the step up to wait a minute, street claims, what the heck is this, who was prone to uh, uh, uncontrollable rage frequently and savagely beat her so severely that she decided to, um, to, uh, to hold up in a hotel for weeks at times. The alleged attacks often occurred in front of other business associates, and uh, who were too scared to intervene against uh, one of the most famous uh, hip hop artists. And man, listen, so this is the part I don't like. So if you had witnesses, why settle so much? Why not take this man down? This man is a tyrant. This man is violent. This man does things and he has people afraid. So who else is he doing this to? Oh, that don't matter. We just wanna, we just wanna resolve this. I'm gonna get my check and I'm gonna go home. But listen to all the stuff that they said. This said that this man is a detriment to other people in society. And this is the part that y'all miss, man. And this is why I always tell women, don't run up here and start saying you're putting your case next to her case. Because she don't give a damn about you. This is Hollywood. Each time Ventura, Ventura tried to distance herself from Bad Boy uh, record founder, she was threatened that her music career would take a hit and was once told her record would, would be shelved. So she went back over and over again. And let me ask y'all a question for all the women that's watching this. And I mean this sincere as a father, as a husband. If Puff Daddy was broken, was just a nobody, would she allow him to take advantage? Absolutely not. So this is a lesson to some of our, our daughters out there, young girls. Stop with this fantasy of what you could be with this person. This person could be a demon, a devil. But because he has money and resources, you allow him to infiltrate and do the things that he do. That has to stop. That has to stop. And it happens all the time. So I, I just want this to be a lesson out there to a lot of young girls. You know, it's, it, he, they, they're saying that he was giving her alcohol. My question is he was bringing in male prostitutes to have sex with her. Where are these male prostitutes? Why, why are we allowing, why he sat in the corner and masturbated? Why are we allowing this to go away? The public ain't gonna say. It. So what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, we see we see the play. If if Puffy is guilty of these egregious acts, then he should be in prison, not be allowed to pay some money. But this is the stuff, man. Listen, I, I I'm just I'm 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 over I'm I'm over this. A lot of stuff that go on in our community. A lot of us are freak, fake and fraudulent. A lot of people cater to whatever women say. A lot of men cater to whatever men say. But none of y'all really want justice. All y'all want to do is cry, bitch, and moan and want somebody to hear you. But nobody really wants real justice. It's about money. It's about clicks. It's not about the right, the actual right thing. The actual right thing. You're not going to sit here and make all these claims that he did and then he give you a check and he go away. Do you care about all the other young girls? Do you care about anybody else that may be affected by this person? We already know um, the highly publicized stuff about him being G.A.Y., uh, him robbing his artists for publishing and all this kind of stuff. We already know about the countless uh, amounts of uh, things that's happened to men and women in these industries. We know this, but these people are able to pay money and they just go away. I don't know, man. I, I, I'm just, as a father, as a husband, I'm just upset. I'm upset. I'm upset at my sisters and my brothers because we, we, we cowards and we tiptoe through the tulips and all we care about is clicks and money, not about actual justice and the right thing, man.
But I'm going to cut this video short here, man. Leave your comments in the comment section and let me know what you think. Because a lot of women going to come out and say, yeah, girl, yeah, she got that. But no, it's not, yeah, girl, she got that. She actually just spit in all of our faces and ran away. So her and Puffy, both of them got away with it. But I'm um, going to cut this video short. Puff Daddy should be in prison if this stuff is true. Peace.